hello everyone it feels great to be back here with you and i know it have been long since my previous video and i have both good and bad news for you uh bad let's start with bad news that meta swag platform is going away so here meta have informed that after january 14 2025 it will be discontinuing all supports and i think you you are well known with it and all the good news is that there are lots of platform where we can showcase our talents uh, but especially i'm going to talk about effect house uh, here so effect house is platform of tiktok so where you will be able to create filters for tiktok and they are similar with spagia yeah? so in this video i'm going to uh, share you information how we can easily migrate from spark air to effect house and how is it similar with uh this uh spark air so let's just start and talking about comparison let's just start with asset comparison here so uh, usually they are similar for example in meta spark air 3D format is of uh, FPX, GLTF, and other formats which I have mentioned here. And 2D formats are PNG, JPEG, and SVG, and it supports texture sequence. And for audio, mono M4A is required, and these are the sampling that is required for audio. And for fonts, uh, there are true type and open type. And for script, JavaScript and type script is supported in Spark, yeah, but in Effect House, it is a bit different. So 3D file format is FPX 2013 and it only supports FPX uh, currently and for 2D format it is PNG, JPEG and texture sequence is also supported here. And for audio MP3 is supported here and uh, there is sampling frequency requirement and it is 44.1 kHz and it, it must be web mono and file size limitation is 5 MB and scripting uh, currently I think we can script there but uh, its visual script is enough to solve maximum of issues and other uh, programs what we want to create through it so it is capable of creating effects through visual scripting and there are lots of ai tools in effect house which are very good now before going to effect house the major thing you need to do is create a tiktok account for yourself and it will be helpful for effect house as well so uh, you can go in effect house link and i'll be providing these all links in description and go to download and download it so it's similar to spike here there is also a community uh, where you can learn and other share your all effects so for that you need to join in discord as in facebook i don't think uh, they are highly active so you, you can join in discord and you can ask any other questions or in a, you share your filters there and have all other uh, important resources here so you, you can utilize it and go to download and download the effect house here from here when you complete uh, downloading this one then open effect house then i have already logged in but uh, you 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 need to scan qr code from your profile so go to your profile and choose qr option there so from there uh, you will be able to log in through your account and after you log in you will see this section it is similar to spike as as there it would be a uh, templates so here is recommended templates and you can directly work with this uh, templates but i would recommend you to create a new project and here is an option uh, with create with ai as it is possible to create with ai in here so we'll be discussing it later and go to create project after you successfully open this tab you will see different panels here and this hierarchy is simply scene tab of spark air so what you do is all asset and all things you add here will be shown in this section 
and in in asset section it is similar to spark gear you will add all this assets uh, that is required in this uh, any filters and this uh, scene is uh, like that viewport of spark gear where you will uh, see live effect on it and as well as here is a simulator where it shows how it will be seen in our TikTok filter and so it is similar to that and here is a visual scripting part basically uh, the that there are lots of nodes and we use nodes here and it is similar to patches in spark here and similarly here is inspector tab and it it is similar to spark here and it will show all that inspector uh, transformation and all other things here so it, it is almost similar to spaki in this tab and here are other additional tabs such as asset library where you can simply uh, go to library that is provided by effect house and there are other face sticker screen images and other generative here direct you can directly apply all these features to your filters so uh, we can practice it later as it is for a beginner so we will only create a simple filter here and check all these work of these panels so go to this section and import your file which you are going to use in this effect and when you go to this hierarchy tab go to add object then yeah, you can see here several options uh, for example this segmentation is for background segmentation similar to spec AR, where you can do different segmentation for example here you can uh, hover here and see what it does and you can test it yourself so what we are only discussing about simple effect here so go to face effects so you'll see different face effects so there is 3d face and 3d head uh, it's similar to head occluders and other uh, face mesh options here uh, for this you can either use 3d face or face sticker so if you click, click there so here will be a section where we'll be using our effect so position it to forehead and go to asset and click right in your mouse and you can create materials here so here you can create different material and i'll be explaining it on other videos that what everything does but here we'll, we'll be using face paint so click on face paint so after that you can see it has a face paint material and go to face paint material and in inspector you can uh, it is similar to spark air you can choose texture from here and go to here and look to your texture and it will be available in separate folder section here and choose that one then go to this section and from here you can change your texture or material from this inspector section and if you go here and say choose face paint so now you can see it is applied here and you can change position and orientation here and for using this uh, visual scripting tab we will be using simple nodes to create effect now we'll learn basics of this visual scripting and we'll toggle this uh, our face filter here so for that go to the one where which you want to toggle and you can add uh, similar to spark and there we used to have patches but here we can directly add, add interaction and these are default one are created by effect house only so go to screen dots and so you can choose toggle visibility on tap so what it does is 
when we tap on screen it will toggle visibility and you can find logic behind this if you go into the notes but uh, I, I, it, it is intermediate one so in later video i'll be creating tutorial for this visual scripting as it is comparatively difficult here they, then in spark yeah? so that's all for this video thank you